Megan was in a state of extreme terror, unable to sleep when Harry lost control. Hello and welcome to the Princess Diana News Channel on YouTube General. Sources in Los Angeles claim Megan, who is suffering from weight loss as she is so concerned, is loosening her grip on Harry in order to make a big Hollywood comeback. Of course, this means that anxiety increases when you don't have full control over the situation. The source spoke to me about possible reasons behind it, noting that he and Harry were in debt after losing that job by deal. And that's not all. Perhaps, for this insider, there is another reason, it seems that the pressure to make a name for himself in Hollywood is turning into an attempt to restore himself in a constant money problem. Harry is home alone. It's all adding up, she said, and her friends worry she might be spiraling. Okay, here it is. Friends. That's it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Meghan Markle has started blaming Harry for the failure of the marriage. When this happens, she tries to get as much money as possible. Of course, it can never be his fault, and we have to remember that it's always someone else's fault. Meghan Markle is flawless, she's the perfect angel, and now Harry has been her boyfriend since last fall. Similar. But I'll go ahead and ask the obvious question here. How many people will fall in love with these four people, whether this small story is inspired by the fact that we are trying to restore the image of Meghan? Poor Meghan, of course, it was Harry who worried her so much, well, if we know anything about Narcissus, we know it's common for them to go after their partner to make themselves look like the victim. I mean Meghan caused the royal F.A. She is not a victim. She never has been never was, she's just an illusional narcissist, and I don't think this little scheme of hers is going to work. Meghan Markle is a snake, she's a predator and I know that Harry's got his problems by no means perfect that I mean, he's got a family to fall back on, and Meghan is careful to isolate him from all of his family to keep him in better control when it doesn't work anymore. Even though she's desperate, she has to find another plan. She didn't have inexhaustible money, which quickly caught her attention. Everything is fine. So let's think about why Meghan Markle might feel a little embarrassed, maybe she didn't sleep well at night. Well, maybe Harry finally woke up. Maybe he'll finally get out of his network. I wonder what is going on with this novel. They're going to make a movie about it. Meet me at the lake. Apparently, they paid the writer $3 million for the movie, right? And then he expected to pay the scriptwriter, who would require him to hire the actors. However, pitching a trailer to investors won't be easy these days, considering all the screenwriters are on strike. But you can find some very good ones in different countries like New Zealand, Australia and UK, but it will cost about 5000 if investors are not interested in the project and it does not go ahead, did Meghan realize this before buying the rights to the book? Probably not. To be honest, I think one of Meghan's biggest problems is that every time an idea pops into her head, she believes it because it popped into her head. That means it's fine. If logic says it's never going to work, that's okay too. It must be good because he made it. And why are they even publishing this story? Do we regret anything if we do something? I mean, just look at how she treated everyone. She doesn't have that much support anymore because she treated everyone like crazy and the question is, how can I even make a big Hollywood comeback, I mean, she never did anything to come. B. To make a comeback, he needed to succeed when two of Hollywood's most powerful stars called him untalented and impractical. I think we know she's done in Hollywood. I mean, it was never successful or established to begin with, and I don't know if you've heard that story before. But apparently Meghan Markle couldn't even work in Hollywood because it wasn't the actor's fault and she was caught lying to someone and claiming she was one. Apparently that's why she had to go to Canada to work. As for the feeling of pressure. Well, I think Meghan Markle is planning to quit. She's about to leave home, she's about to leave Hollywood, 
she's about to end her remaining contractual arrangements, she's about to walk out of the marriage, or all of the above. We've seen this happen before, remember when Megan fled the palace for her safety and sanity, well, she doesn't seem to care about the stress she's caused, or even about Britain when she lied to her in so many interviews. With all her lies, bullying, and cowardly behavior at work, she now feels what a lot of people feel. I think she's having a hard time finding someone who will take pity on her. I do not know right now. Maybe they should save some money, maybe they could live within their means instead of being big wigs. I heard that Megan had to get millions of loans from creditors, and now they are taking her money and she doesn't have it. Well Megan, you know most of us need to understand budgeting. Maybe you should, and why does she think it's so special? Does she feel stressed? I feel stressed every day that I mean look at the poor generation struggling to feed their children. Maybe she and Harry make minimum wage. Megan was fascinated. She believes that she is really someone she is not. Therefore, he always faces difficulties, remember, you told us how easy it was for her to call important people like the late queen and archbishop whenever she wanted. Well, let's analyze it a little bit. Can we? Maybe at some point early in her marriage to Harry, we couldn't believe she was actually capable of summoning the queen, but personally, I'm not sure that's the case. Well, I think the analysis ends here that I don't have much to add, no one in America seems to want to take his call. Apparently, every democratic lawmaker will try to distance herself from her goodwill toward them when Batro wants nothing to do with her. The governor of California was very angry with her. Obama, clones, the list goes on. I'm even surprised she didn't try to say that she and the late queen meet weekly on Zoom, there they talked and he gave advice to the queen. You know it was a wonderful thing. The queen had many people to help her. Courtiers and her trusted servants because they had to support Harry. I don't think even Catherine has a direct line to her late majesty that I suspect that the only people working as royals during Meghan's time with direct access to the queen will be her majesty's husband Prince Philip, as well as their children Charles, Andrew, and Edward. I suspect that any contact with the late queen must go through Prince Charles. I mean, even for Harry and William, she was probably working as the Queen of Great Britain and she was older. He was in charge of Britain and the Commonwealth of Nations, so I'm sure he can't take direct calls from his grandchildren. And let's not forget their wives. I in fact, the Queen's children were the first port of call for his children, and at the age of 90, he was unable to guide or provide lifelines to Meghan Markle, the mattress actress he managed to stalk and trap. And when he passed out, he told his grandson. Now I think the queen was pretty good. He wouldn't let Meghan bother him. Meghan says a lot about it because she knows the palace won't comment on it, so based on her habit of spreading fake news to the media, she can say whatever she wants. I leave it up to you to believe what you want to believe. So I'm trying to say how many of Meghan's other revelations have been confirmed, all these carefully selected special gifts. I wish I could catch up, but no. Meghan Margot is so wishful thinking. She tells these crazy stories and wants people to believe them. It's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, but I guess Archbishop Justin Welby might not be too keen on IT. So I was a little surprised to learn that supposedly a phone call separated us from her, especially since she went to great lengths to silence him during the wedding. She has a preacher, American pastor Michael Curry, and forces him to take charge and control the entire story. Meanwhile, the guests fell asleep. Another problem with Megan's little story is that the butler will check the phone and answer it. I don't believe the late queen or archbishop would want to be bothered by calls to sell stuff, can you imagine both? It is said that only a few people had a queen's cell phone number. One of them was his writer, apparently it's another fantasy that if he says, we think we're a little smarter than you. What do you think about this news, please give me your opinion in the section below. If you think my videos are useful, are you afraid to like them and share them with everyone who is interested? Don't forget to subscribe to our Princess Diana news feed for more future updates. Thanks again to viewers without you. This chain is impossible, have a great day everyone and see you tonight.